Right, so another welder. Um, I've spared you the unboxing. Right, so this one is by Decca Power. So I believe this has only been out for for three or four months. It's the expert edition of the Ultramig 230. Yeah. So I'm liking the handle arrangement. I'm liking that they've put the gas inlet high up out of the way. Right, so that's a nice touch. I can't think of anything offhand in this price range that offers a, a twin roller system. So there's already a pair on there that caters for two wire diameters. And you've got two pairs here. I think the range goes from 0.6 to 1.2. What came with it? Gas hose, spare liner, assuming that's for your aluminium. Wire brush. This is a electrode holder for your stick welding. 300 amps, I'll use that. Also in the box, nice pair of heavy duty uh, welding gauntlets. I'm not sure what's in here. I'm assuming it's shrouds. Right, so two spare shrouds. That's the torch. Euro type. I believe this is a, an MB25 AK. That's the setup I like. Here we go. Switching it on. stays on. So I'm liking the screen. Over the older model this is a massive improvement. Really like this. Um, so it's a MIG, stick and lift TIG welder. These are your processes. So let's just go through them. We've got double pulse, single pulse, synergic welding, manual MIG, Flux core, stick welding or MMA, and DC lifting. So let's click on a uh, DC lifting. So I believe I want that one. Yep. So it's pretty basic. There's nothing to it. Right. So DC lifting that will go up to uh, 230 amps. Right. So let's come out of a uh, DC lifting and go to a uh, stick welding or MMA. Right, again, I think the amps go up to 200 amp in MMA mode. So up here, you've got Arc Force, Hot Start, Anti Stick, and VRD. So I'm hoping we can get into that via that. Yep. So here's your Hot Start. Uh, just I'll randomly say 20, I'll just randomly. And it moves over to Arc Force. Anti stick on and VRD. Right, so we'll come out of that. Right, so I'm going to have a go at the stick welding. I've got my posh deck of power gloves, nice stinger, my toothbrush, posh little chipping hammer. Got some cheap rods here, the 7018s, and they recommend between 60 and 80 amps. Right, so we want a uh, MMA stick mode. Enter. It's on that. Got it on 80 amps. Um, I want to do any more with the Arc Force, Hot Start, Anti Stick, Advanced Settings. So I've got it on a. Uh, leave it on 10%. Enter. Moves on to Arc Force. Leave that there. Anti Stick. Leave that off. Actually, let's just see if that works. On. Um, BRD off and then back out. Right, anti stick. Yes. So that works. So 
right, so the anti-stick works. Right, so back off that, we go in there, uh, we want to be going across, so anti-stick, off, end top, back to where we want to be. Right, we're cooking now. Right, let's have it. My eyesight's terrible, so let's put these grooves in. Let's see how we go. So being impressed with the stick side of things, I've given it a little promotion and, and put it on the old trolley. Right, so MIG next. Hopefully it's going to stay there, at least until the uh, new machine comes. Right, so I'm sat down, cup of tea in my hand. Let's go through the uh, MIG settings. This button here is your welding processes. That just takes you to this page. So let's go over to uh, manual MIG. Enter. Now you'll see on these menus here, these are your parameters you want to set. So I'm going to go to the top one, hit enter. Bear in mind this is in manual mode. Uh, wire diameter, so 0.8, the gas is mixed. So gas, we want that. Right, you've got your 2T, your 4T, S4T, the spot. Right, so 2T selected, we want to go, we want to go back or next with that switch so we'll go next and so so in manual mode you don't see your amps here it's in meters and minutes so it goes all the way up to 15 you can tweak your volts so additional settings in this mode you go advanced settings so here you've got your inductance that goes minus 10 plus 10 enter you go on to work pre-gas goes up to three seconds enter soft start all the way up to 100%. And you've got your burn back, one second. Post gas, five seconds. And then you're back to your uh, inductance. And if you want to come out of there, over to next, and then you're back. So we'll come out of that and go back to uh, synergic welding. So enter. Same deal, you've got your list of materials here, wire diameters, your gas mixes. 2T, 4T, S4T, and spot. So over to next, and that takes you to your, your main screen. So in this synergic mode, if you notice, when I turn the amps up, things start to change just here. You'll see your material here, a T fillet. The, as I go up in amps, the material 
gets thicker and thicker, goes all the way up to a 10.2. Right, so we're on the MIG. Now this, this is a, a water pan for a CNC plasma build I'm, I'm knocking up. Um, this job was reserved for the welder you saw in my last video. Right, so this has been bullied into shape. I've got no folding capability here. So what I had to do is in the flat, mark it all out, uh, mark the fold lines, and then I've gone through it with uh, cutting discs, but careful not to uh, go all the way through, just enough to be able to fold them. Right, so I'm about ready. Now the correct way of doing this would be to put a ton of tacks into it and put down some shorter runs and stagger your welds and all that. I'm not going to bother with that, I'm just going to blitz it. Fully expect it to distort, which I'm not fussed, it's not a critical part. And I can always bully it back into shape. So welding processes, back up here, let's go to uh, single pulse, now let's go double pulse. You've got your 2T and your 4T, but you've also got S2T and S4T, so we're going to leave it on S2T and get a look at that, so right, back, next, enter, right we're back on this screen, this is in double pulse mode. So, right, advanced settings. Right, so I'm gonna leave it there, folks, because this video, is ridiculously long already plus i've got a ton of this thick stuff i want to have a go at and uh i need some one mil wire so that's on its way also after having a play around in pulse there's a little learning to be done there for me having never used pulse before so i'd like to come back to this uh well versed in the pulse side of things ready for some thick stuff maybe have a go at the lift tig but so far so good 